You're watching WMAR 2 News. Seven people had to be rescued from a burning boat in Ocean City over the weekend. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. It was around 5 o'clock Sunday morning that this boat caught fire right near the inlet. This video is from the Ocean City Fire Department. There was another boat nearby. The people from that boat helped rescue the seven from the boat that was burning. No injuries reported. It is not clear how that boat fire there in Ocean City started over the weekend. It is the first day of school for a lot of students across the area today. Several counties dealing with shortages of school bus drivers in Howard County. About 50,000 kids get to school on buses every day. School officials tell WMAR 2 News when they're fully staffed, they've got nearly 500 drivers. Right now, there are about 100 short of that. One bus driver told, the, told us that it's going to be difficult to enforce COVID-19 safety protocols on these buses. You have 50 to 60 kids in a bus and you got one driver, yeah, it's going to be virtually impossible to do, like, keep them separated and, you know, keep them, being able to keep their mask on. In Howard County, middle and high school students will be allowed to ride buses from the Regional Transportation Agency of Central Maryland, RTA buses, for free as a way to try to mitigate that shortage of school bus drivers. And the demolition of a public housing complex in southeast Baltimore will be finished today. The Perkins Homes development dates back to the World War II era. This is just east of Little Italy. In recent decades, Harbor East has seen massive development just to the south of Perkins Homes. So the buildings there you see being knocked down in their place is going to be a new billion dollar complex that will include public housing, but also market rate apartments, parks, restaurants and a grocery store. More than 500 families did have to be relocated from the Perkins Homes. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday, everyone. On this Monday, first day of school, definitely going to be hot and humid for some, that's for sure. Uh, afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms are a possibility, and we are tracking Ida. Ida is on the move and will be our weather as we head into Wednesday. So because of that, a flash flood watch goes into effect Wednesday into Thursday for those areas there shaded in the green coloring. This afternoon, we could see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast, a chance for that. And as we head into your Wednesday, there is the severe weather outlook as we do have a level one and damaging wind, flash flooding and tornadoes are all possible on Wednesday. It's going to be a great day if you can head to the pool to cool things down because Christian, it is definitely going to be another hot and humid day on tap. Back to you. Okay, Lynette, thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news and weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.